Please don't make me actually remember, have to remember how to do that. Uh, there's so many chemicals in my pocket. Maybe we just match the colors. Uh, save. Saving is good. photos to the light. Um. I mustn't expose my... Can I turn off this light? Or get under that, like... Oh! I didn't even <laughs> hit left! Oh. Sure. How would you even know that that's a switch to change? Okay. Um, now we're using the thing. The chemical seemed a little tired out. I better develop all the plates together. I'll get my, like, a, the solution to a hint book. I guess so. I'll take it. We put all of our plates in there already. Oh, but now I have no idea what color these are. Uh... I don't- I need a manual. Let's continue. Let's continue. Probably gonna ruin these. A dash of hydroquinone. Shouldn't I be putting these in different trays? Let's continue. No, not more. A dash oh no. The British scientific news will definitely fire me oh, if I'm not able no. to develop a photograph. I've... I'd better have a go again. Very well, I'll start again. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. We need. Four chemicals. I have eight. Is there something that's gonna tell me what the right thing to do is anywhere? Uh, I need a book. I need help. I don't know if the solution is in the game or not. If I need to just look up how to make the right solution in real life. I don't, I don't know how to, I don't, I, I, um, what's in developer? Photography. Why is this so red? Because we have we can't expose our film plates to light. Yeah. Yeah. So I've done that one. I've done it and hydro together on accident. Not on accident, but maybe that was my mistake. That's what I did after that. The chemical scene. A few. Let's continue. Well, let's see. The merest hint of. Let's continue. 
a sniff of... No problem. I was close, but what the heck? Perfect. Perfect. Wowzers. Thanks, y'all. Thank you for the help. <laughs> Ooh, wow. To take better pictures of the sky in 1910 than you can today. <laughs> Shouldn't we be wearing gloves? Yeah, probably. <laughs> How horrific! <gasps> uh, my heart. My prescription. Thank you. Thank you very much. Without you, I. Are they glass? Oh no, they were plates. Yeah, that see, I don't get that either. Better already. Don't push your luck. Uh, I thought we were dead after that. I was gonna be furious. I'm counting on you. So is my daughter. That comes to ten dollars. Thank you. Now I must leave you. Will you be all right? A mento? Mentos? The drugstore is open from 8 to 6. If you need more pills, just stop by and ask. Thank you again. I need like a bracelet that says if I'm shocked to the point of almost death, someone. Feed me a pill. I broke the scary one. You would you would hope so. <laughs> Leave you here on this hardwood floor and a pill and then I have to leave. Uh, talk. Did you manage to develop your photographs, Mr. Parker? The other doctor did. Maybe he also did. Indeed, yes. Thank you. Okay, hey, bye. Oh, I gotta talk to the guy at the store. Oh, quite a surprise, Mr. Parker. Isn't that right? You look kind of pale. You should think about your health. You should think about your health. You're most thoughtful, Mr. Coldstone. Aren't you a little too old to be out so late? What time is it? I can take care of myself. A word of advice. Stay away from the forest. There's something about it that doesn't agree with some folks. Mm hmm Like... Cultism? The Cthulhu cult? It looks like normal day. And who would say that to someone? You're a little old to be awake still. <laughs> like... What? Can I say no, it to Miss Picot too? <laughs> I'm fine, young man, but you seem a little pale. What have you been up to? Oh, dancing and drugs and music and rock and roll. Up to? Nothing. I didn't sleep too well. Chains of climate, I dare say. Mm-hmm. Well, you look like you could do with a hefty dose of cod liver oil. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, St. Paul's Epistle to the Ephesians. Oh. Goodbye, young man. Goodbye. Bye. 
Goodbye, Mr. Cobb. Howdy. So, how about the photos? I just wanted to tell you, your plates are still good. Well, be sure to show me the results. I'm sure you'd find them far too amateurish. In any case, I'll certainly be back for more very soon. All right, but don't wait too long. Bye now. Don't wait too long. Should probably check in on Jug. Oh, suspicious man. Suspicious. Suspicious. Take cocaine, right? Uh, what is it? Key. Well, lots of things are locked here, so <laughs> I'm gonna guess the door across from ours. Totally fine. Super normal. Looks just like everyone else. This door is locked. <gasps> really? Maybe? Do that stare that he does. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Statue of a baby. Okay. Either blood or shiny ketchup. Jug, are you okay? Old Juggy? Juggaroo? Juggernaut? Oh, more blood. What are we looking at? Beyond Chaos. I don't know why that one specifically, but okay. No, wait. I'll put it back. Oh. Putting it in a different place. Get youth. Wait. Can't read it. Oh. Look. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be like the way to his super secret. Information stash. He 
does it work? To put them in like correct order. I feel like you just put them where they were. Yeah. Why can we return them? Need to take them out? You're not gonna question the blood or anything? Excuse me. Oh, that was the door. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, grief. It's blood. I hope Jug. I've looked at the blood in his room too. But it worked out. And then we died a lot, and now we're here. Still not gonna help us. They must be sent to London. What? Oh, our pictures. Glad I came here. <laughs> Mr. Parker, the British Scientific News informed me there are two plates. Here are your twenty dollars. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Parker, how's it going? Not too badly, thank you, Jed. So, how about that beer we we're going to drink? Were we? Uh... I haven't got time, I'm afraid. Always in a hurry. You ought to slow down once in a while. Thanks, Jed. I appreciate the sound advice. See you later. I think the barkeep was down there too. Cemetery is still closed. Hey, Curtis. The big spooky spooky house. Hello, damn it. Uh, no, that was. 
that's supposed to be kids. Or... So, Parker, you quit running. Find your way, did you? Leave me alone. I'd like nothing better. Why don't you just get back to wherever you came from, and you won't ever hear from us again. Let's get out of here. Told me to leave, but then they leave? Cool. Oh, hello. Oh, Mr. Parker, have you seen my aunt? She's Bible reading in the town center. She's Bible reading in the town center. Thank you. If she asks, please say that you haven't seen me, will you? Okay. Count on me. I'm going to follow you now though, so just don't worry, don't worry about it. Not in a creepy way, in a, well you're gone now. I thought I couldn't go right from that screen. Welp, disappeared. Just walked right out of my life. I guess that means we have to go to Jugs and solve book mystery. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Good vibes for Cthulhu. Ah, a key. Oh, I did not see that. I just hit L on accident and saw that he started walking. <laughs> get, get key. Small key. Does it work? I also don't work. Work the same. <laughs> what if I use a small key on it? It doesn't okay, work. Okay, fine. What if I go to another locked door with all these books? Oh, I haven't tried to go here yet today. I'm like in the actual town hall middle area. Nice day, eh? For us office workers, it doesn't matter if the weather is nice or not. Work, work, Speaking work. Speaking of. And no thanks for it. With all these darn forms, the town hall's gonna stay shut for the rest of the day. Oh, okay. In that case, I'll let you get on with it. Is the mayor in? Probably not. The mayor is... We never say anything about this being locked, though. Is there something locked in the other half of Town Hall? I don't feel like there was. The only other thing that I feel like we haven't done in a little while is gone back to our apartment. Besides, uh, besides the door across the hallway, I should have actually gone into the room and tried to look at the statue. Aside from these big old brown rooms. Well, the good doctor appears to be keen on literature. Let's see. 
If stones could speak by the Marquis de Chamfre, a who burdest the bold translation, the cellar treatise, so many books. I have more books now. this at all? Nope. Hey, She goat. Statue of an old man in a butterfly case? I didn't see that at all. I was even trying to look at these when we were talking about colors. All right, youth and the old man in the sea, maybe? Okay. Ah, oh, no, not yet. Oh, wait, go back. Ah. These butterflies really are magnificent. Marvelous colors. Yes. That's exactly. Okay, so we have two st a lot of books. Baby statue in the baby book shelf. And old man statue in the old man book shelf. It doesn't work. Do I need to put the books back? <laughs> this statue is making it very difficult to put the book back in place. Ah. Okay. Maybe... Maybe that's fine. We just look everywhere for everything. I thought I did it. Okay. Young man. I'm gonna assume then now that they're all probably in here. Does that go with the pyramids? Or maybe that's the invisible man. It doesn't work. Just gotta look everywhere really hard. <laughs> We have the man, the baby, and the old man. Which might be all we need, because those are the only, like, man-related ones. Did I try to put books back after the old man? I didn't. Maybe I thought I did. Books. <gasps> that was not what I was expecting to happen for some reason. It's so obvious. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh my gosh! Are we on a game? Okay. So, you kept your promise. Who did this? I didn't see. What does it matter now? I'm going to get some help. No, it's too late for that. <laughs> and I can still be of some use to you. Dang, Jack. Okay. If you can still be of some use to me, then what's this about? Quick, give me the parchment. They came to find it. Oh. Great heavens, it's as I thought. It means, in his dwelling place of dead Relia, Cthulhu dreams and waits. <coughs> Do those words ring any bells? No. Oh. I've come across the name Cthulhu in old manuscripts concerning primitive religions. Nothing more. Decent amount with secret rooms in them. <gasps> a big house and Mr. secret Parker, rooms. And yes. Man has not always been the master of this world. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Many ages ago, there was a race of gods. The great old ones. Super old. But how can you believe such... I have little time. Rightly or wrongly, many believe that by using certain incantations, these loathsome creatures <coughs> can be brought back to reign over us once more. How? There are portals through which the Great Old Ones will enter in exchange for the promise of power, wealth, and immortality. Oh, oh. there are men prepared to perpetuate the hideous ancestral cults and work for the return of these gods. <coughs> cool. Cool. Can we have some of that what power? What are these gods? Where are they? They are at once far away and very near. Their names are Dagon, yog Safoth, nyarl Athotep, Cthulhu. There are many others. The passing of Halley's Comet coincides with a favorable astral conjuncture. <coughs> they will return. Parker, you must stop them. You must. Do you hear me? How can I stop them? In two nights from now, in the center of a stone circle, the guardian of the portal will materialize. It must not be allowed to happen. <coughs> you will find here a book called the Necronomicon. Necronomicon. You will find the formula you need. Be warned, Parker. The book drives men to madness. Do not take it from here. Is it going to kill us like an alone in the dark? But if you... <clears throat> My desk. The message. That man will help you. Some of Ilsmuth's citizens will seek your destruction by whatever means possible. Read the message in the safety of your room. So what happens if we don't? But... This is a lot. This is very Miracomus, a lot. The sorcerer, even dead, 
He wields ghastly power. Dead? Dead? Remember? <laughs> More things in heaven than earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philo... I won't forget, Tobias Jug. Well, I think he died. R.I.P. Tobias. Okay, so we can read this, but only here, and then the note we also need, but don't read it except in the safety of our room. Occult Practices in Demonic Works by Theobald of Siam. The Myth of the Beginnings of St. Patrick. Oh, I'm looking at the wall. The Shadow of Ghouls. The Tierra of Madness by Michael Roy. What sinister reading matter? I'll need a key to get this book open. A small key? <laughs> I mean, this. <laughs> this little key must open the lock on this book. But then we, are we just, but can we, but we, so we're not supposed to leave the book here. Why do I feel like I'm misunderstanding everything everybody's saying in this game? I thought that we were supposed to leave the book here or only read it here and not, oh, we used it already. The ancients were, the ancients are, the ancients will be. Yog Sothoth knows the portal. Yog Sothoth is the portal. Yog Sothoth is the guardian and the key to the portal. I probably wouldn't read it out loud to be Stand fair. inside the circle at the appointed hour. Yagnai, Thafaik, Nagha, Yog Sothoth. Three times he must be summoned, and there will be light. The portal will shut. Oh good, we copied it down. Probably fine. Um uh, Right? Um I guess we'll just you'll be fine here, right? The Vermus Mysterious. Of the closeness of shadows, a study of the preaching of Laurent, known as the visionary. The book which drives men to madness by John Seller, written on the night of March 1st, under the protection of the seven-branched pentacle. Unspeakable cults by... That's odd. The name is inked out. One, seven, four, three... Three... 1743. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> huh. 1743. Maybe it's important. Maybe not. Should probably write it down either way. Alright. I guess we just leave this 
death all open. It's probably fine. Oh shit. I really did forget. <laughs> dun dun. But like how we die in the lens. I feel like it looks a little different sometimes. The book unspeak. Um, okay, I don't want to take this with me, so use. No, that doesn't work. Uh. No, that. No. Put it back on the bookshelf. No, that. I don't want to carry it. No, that doesn't. Occult practice. The myth of the. I don't want to carry it out with me. How do I drop it? No, that doesn't work. No. I'll put it back in its place. Thank you. You picked it up from the other side of the desk. Okay. Now we're safe until we read the message in broad daylight. Mr. Parker, have you just been at Jug's place? No, why? Well, to be honest. Have you just been at Jug's place? Oh, shit. Parker and Jug's get on real well together, that's no secret. But, I did hear yelling. But what are you... I'm going to have to ask you to follow me, Mr. Parker. I didn't do anything. Oh good, following worked this time. Means Parker, that other guy totally would have killed us. Arrest for Jug's murder. Why? I'm innocent. Why are you sticking your hands out? <gasps> Poor Parker. So young and already in the next world. Did the handcuffs kill us? Did the Necronomicon kill us? Okay, f sure. Great, I guess, yeah. Um, I don't want to die. They were too tight. Uh oh. Lots of people. Uh oh. Um. I probably shouldn't talk to anyone. I 
Seite. Oh. Hey. I should just go. Wait a minute. Oh, that was my arrow. That something flickered in the window. That's such a bummer though, like... I could move around those people, but when we ran into... Johnny... We were dead as soon as we hit that screen. The map was at the post office. with poor old Jed. Uh, not right now, thanks. I'd love to, but a little later. I'm in something of a hurry. Another time, then. What if he just really is just like a lonely dude, just like wanting to hang out? And we're just shutting him down left and right. Um... This is where the flag is, but also where Johnny was. Okay, now he's gone. Hey. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Can't you? Wait, really? Okay. I'm in something of a hurry. Oh, there's a flag. Of course there's a flag at the post office, too. Of course. And then the hundred messages, and then now the map is gone? That's weird. Good day, Miss Gilchrist. I was told there's a map of the region hanging up here, but I can't seem to... Oh, well, David Underhouse asked me for it, and I lent it to him. Where are all these people coming oh, from? I can't get around, you know. Such a cruel world. Where can I find him? There! The door at the end! Interested in Indians, are you? Mr. Underhouse is very keen. He's been looking for that cemetery for months. Oh... I beg your pardon? Cemetery of some Indian tribe, the Muckamucks or something. Well, he found it, and my, is he happy. 
Now, why should a fine man like that take such an interest in savages? Whoa. Lady. You need to... Get educated. <laughs> Chill out. Uh, uh... Uh, what do I say? Yeah, just a, just a smidge. Am I gonna correct her if I say this? Like, as for your word choice, madam, I don't wanna... Uh, don't wanna what? God, I'm scared to click anything. <laughs> Here we go. As for savagery, as for savagery, I think the Indians might have learned a thing or two from the 7th Cavalry. Ah, uh, well... Mr. Parker, my father often said, the only good Indian's a dead one. And he knew what he was talking about. Well, now, if you'll your father me, sounds some like of us have work a terrible do. person. <laughs> Hi. Uh, hello, person. Talk. Thank you for defending the Indians, Mr. Parker. No, the walls don't have ears. They are merely very thin. I believe you want to consult the map of this region. Please, go right ahead. That's twice now that I've had to get on to someone for being racist in this game. Which is nice, because usually the games are just racist and I'm very that's that. <laughs> So, Mr. Parker, why don't we discuss the Micmac? I'm afraid I didn't make myself very clear. It's precisely because I'm so ignorant about Indian culture that I'm here. Have you heard of Naracamus? Indeed. He was the last of a particular branch of the Micmac tribe. A branch known as they who worship the Night Howler. By Night Howler, they meant Nyarlathotep. How did you hear about him? So, it's a real thing, but it's not spelled that way at all. <laughs> it looked weird. We met. He almost killed me. He is supposed to have died 70 years ago. It's supposed to be spelled like this. I can only tell you what happened. I know it's none of my business. Or like many I other ways, but that's like... On the map? Definitely not Micmac like mac and cheese. Do you know this like, like the two, like the two separate, that's like tic-tac-toe or something. <laughs> That's the stone circle, the location of the Micmac burial ground. And you say you know nothing of Indian culture? I'm learning about Cthulhu culture. Does the name Cthulhu mean anything to you? Let me answer you with a question of my own. Oh? Did you know that those who worship Nyarlathotep are rewarded with a very particular gift. Immortality. Do you think that... There are names it is wise never to pronounce, and people it is wise never to meet. Are you talking about the Hamilton family? It's like a lot of families here I don't want to meet. <laughs> Some of the townspeople practice strange rituals in the worship of foul and age-old gods. I wanted to know more. 
and my curiosity cost me my legs. And Tobias Jug, who led me to you, is dead. Dead? Dear God, there is no time to lose. Andrew Arlington isn't here. The diary containing the origin of the curse is locked inside his office safe. I feel like there are more people than there are Don't houses the here. Bring it. In his safe. No. You'd better leave it where it is. There's no point in alerting them, is there? I can give you some information. I know the combination to the safe is made up of a number of digits. Oh, 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 the safe. That's what was behind the curtain, of course. I can guess what those digits are. You don't happen to know what they are. 1743. When I discovered it, just before my accident, the digits had something to do with the Bible. Oh. Hey. Well, thank you for your help. You can thank me by bringing me a photo of the stone circle. I need more That's plates. A promise. a bit bigger than I thought it was. A absurdly large table. I guess. Can't look here, books. Oh, I'm leaving. Good morning, ladies. Hello, Mr. P Gloria, I forbid you to speak to this, this person. He is nothing more than a ruffian who fights in the streets. We just spoke like 20 minutes ago. Not Gloria, but yeah, but secretly. Okay, cool. cool, cool. 